Hi, my name is Nick Anderson and uh, I own a company that are the endurance sports coaches for the Royal British Legion. Now, we recently held a training evening which was great fun in London for the Royal British Legion and all of the cyclists that are taking part in Ride London and London to Paris, which was good fun and exciting and there were quite a few questions. So, one of the key questions was, how do I balance my training with recovery? Well, the real key for us with that is that uh, your training never takes over your life and you're always able to develop your training within the training plans we've set in a way that the body responds. So be very careful you're not doing too much too soon, too far, too often. We want you to avoid injury and we want you to build up your long rides gradually in a way that's manageable and achievable and very safe. Maybe we want you to do a little bit of cycling economy work in the week. So maybe if you can do a ride during the week, either in a studio on your turbo trainer or outside somewhere safe, where you put some blocks of what we call threshold riding in, where you're working at more of a higher intensity, three or four word answer pace, about eight, eight and a half out of 10 with your maximum heart rate or a little bit below there. Something which is gonna push you, perhaps five minutes, 10 minute blocks, a number of those build into the ride. Maybe some, some other easy ride or some hills as well. Hills will make you super strong. You're going to have plenty of hills in London to Paris and plenty of hills out there in Surrey when you do ride London. So to go out and do some hill repetitions, maybe you're going up and down a hill for three, four minutes up the hill, you turn, you ride down sensibly, you turn again, you go back up and you put blocks of those four minute hills into your ride. That could be very wise as well. But how do you know if you're getting tired? If you're not sleeping well, if you're really struggling with nutrition in terms of you are losing your appetite, maybe at the same time the training is getting harder and harder, it's not the sort of building and you're not feeling like you're getting fitter and stronger, maybe you need to have some extra rest days, maybe you need to just spread your hard days a little bit more. So maybe two or three rides a week is enough for some people, maybe four or five rides is enough for those that are more experienced. Make sure you're not overdoing it, Build up gradually from now. You've got plenty of time. We're at the beginning of May, and I hope it all goes well. Good luck.